a generator, and even a helicopter that operated using radio frequencies, a true free energy device that keeps batteries consistently charged. It took me several months to find him, but when I finally did, it was truly astonishing. Maxwell is a prime example of the limitless creativity that flourishes within our continent and a significant milestone for Africa's technological progress. The Harar Institute of Science and Technology has officially recognized one of the most groundbreaking innovations in the automotive sector. Maxwell, Sangolani, Chikumbuzo, the genius behind Seth Technologies, has unveiled the world's first self-powered vehicle, an achievement that defies traditional science and places Zimbabwe at the forefront of energy innovation. The recognition from HIT's Vice Chancellor, Professor Engineer Quinton K. Huckamu marks an important moment for Africa's technological growth, addressing a distinguished audience at the unveiling of Chico's latest creation. Professor K. Hukumu's speech carried both scientific authority and national pride. His words highlighted how innovation has always driven humanity forward as we face energy shortages, environmental concerns, and economic difficulties. Technology emerges as a symbol of hope. It is an honor to be part of this incredible event. The introduction of Seth, technology's revolutionary microenergy technology, today, we are not only celebrating a major technological achievement, but also witnessing the beginning of a new era in energy innovation, developed right here in Africa. For far too long, Africa has been viewed as a consumer rather than a producer of new technologies. Seth Technologies is changing this perspective. This breakthrough represents a shift towards homegrown solutions designed to address global issues. What makes this occasion even more remarkable is that this revolutionary innovation was developed by one of our own, Maxwell Sangulani. Chikumbuzo. Maxwell embodies the vast potential of African ingenuity. His accomplishments inspire not just Zimbabwe, but the entire African continent supporting local innovators like Maxwell is not just a moral responsibility, it is a strategic necessity for our development and competitive position on the world stage. This statement carries great weight. Professor Engineer Quinton K. Hukumu, the Vice Chancellor of the esteemed Harar Institute of Science and Technology, has put his respected career and scientific reputation behind Zimbabwe's most inventive mind, Maxwell Sangolani, Chikumbuzo. We are among the first to achieve this globally. We have seen it, we have tested it, and it has been confirmed beyond our borders it works. What we have is known as a micronic energy device. But before getting to this stage around 2013, I had already started working on it. My journey began in 2003, when I first envisioned this idea. I was focused on three projects at that time. I developed a deep fascination with radio frequencies, an area in which I have outstanding expertise when it comes to radio frequencies. I possess extensive knowledge. I have discussed my work with leading experts in the field, including renowned scientists like Nim Har, and I have spoken with top intellectuals in the U.S. and engaged with some of the greatest scientific minds. Many doubt me because I lack formal education, but my proficiency in radio frequencies is profound. Most of my projects are based on radio frequencies, and I can confidently say that I understand them completely. I have documented my discoveries. But who exactly is Maxwell Sangulani Chikumbuzo, the man behind this extraordinary innovation, born? In 1980 in Budo, a densely populated neighborhood of Harar Chikumbuzo, grew up in a financially struggling household due to economic hardships. He was forced to leave school at the age of 14, cutting short his formal education. However, his lack of academic credentials was more than compensated by his intelligence, relentless curiosity, and natural gift for innovation. Unlike conventional inventors who follow structured educational paths, Chikumbuzo gained all his knowledge through self-learning without access to laboratories or mentors. He used discarded electronic parts to build simple devices. One of his earliest successes was a homemade radio transmitter that successfully broadcasted over a short distance. This was only the beginning. As a teenager, he designed a digital navigator, a turbine engine, and various electronic systems that amazed those around him. His ability to visualize and create advanced technology without formal training astonished engineers and scientists alike. Chikumbuzo has often credited his inventions to divine guidance. He claims that his creations did not come from trial and error, but from vivid visions he received. I began experiencing clear visions even while I was awake, 
I believe God was teaching me directly. I could hear instructions and started experimenting with electronic components. No one ever explained their names or functions to me. It was all revealed to me. He describes these experiences as revelations that gave him deep insights into energy and engineering that challenged traditional scientific understanding in the late 1000s, 990s, as he intensified his experiments, creating numerous functional devices from discarded materials. His research eventually shifted towards sustainable energy solutions, leading to the invention of the Micronic Energy Device in 2009. According to Chikambuzo, the Micronic Energy Device harnesses radio frequencies from the atmosphere and converts them into usable electrical energy. This groundbreaking technology, when applied to vehicles, eliminates the need for fuel or rechargeable batteries. Instead, the vehicle continuously extracts power from the air, providing an endless energy supply. If proven scalable, this innovation could completely reshape the global automotive industry, making gasoline engines and lithium-ion battery-powered vehicles obsolete. Not only is it environmentally friendly, but it is also a potential game-changer in terms of cost efficiency. Chikumbuzo's prototype vehicles equipped with Micronic Energy technology demonstrate remarkable performance metrics. Unlimited range, the vehicle never runs out of power unlike conventional electric cars that require frequent recharging. High-speed performance, the vehicle reaches speeds over 220 km h and accelerates from 0 to 100 km h in just 2 seconds in sport mode. Powerful output. The motor generates 160 kk, approximately 215 horsepower, with 320 to 380 nm of torque comparable to a standard SUV. Energy independence, the vehicle functions as a mobile power source capable of supplying up to 15 kW of electricity to a home when stationary. These features have the potential to revolutionize not just the automotive industry, but also energy accessibility in regions where electricity is unreliable. The economic impact of mass producing these vehicles would be immense, lowering transportation costs and dependence on imported fuel while promoting clean energy solutions. However, Chikumbuzo's journey has been fraught with challenges. He has faced resistance, particularly from powerful figures in the oil and automotive sectors. He alleges that during a visit to Silicon Valley, he and his research partner were poisoned an act he believes was an attempt to stifle his work. Despite these hardships, Chikumbuzo has gained recognition at the highest levels. Zimbabwe President Emerson Mnangwa has honored him as a national treasure and emphasized the importance of supporting local technological initiatives. Plans are underway to establish a manufacturing facility in Zimbabwe to mass produce these vehicles with estimated production costs around 100 $44,000 per unit international interest has also surged. Foster Gamble, creator of the Thrive documentary series, sent scientists to evaluate Chikumbuzo's generator in 2018. Their findings confirming its effectiveness were featured in Thrive 2, which was released in 2020, and translated into multiple languages bringing global attention to this African innovation, with the official launch of Chikumbuzo's self-powered vehicle Zimbabwe. If this technology proves scalable on a grand scale, it could position Zimbabwe among the top nations in green energy and transportation. This is not just a success for Zimbabwe, but for Africa as a whole, showcasing the continent's ability to produce groundbreaking solutions. Chikumbuzo's story is one of perseverance, brilliance, and an unshakable belief in possibilities. His journey from modest beginnings to the forefront of technological breakthroughs serves as a powerful inspiration for inventors worldwide. If history has shown us anything, it is that revolutionary ideas often face skepticism before being embraced. But if Chikumbuzo's vision becomes reality, his innovation will not just transform transportation, it will redefine the future of energy forever.